Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna see another interesting topic about how we can manage multiple environment into our test automation. Normally, we want to run our Selenium test in multiple environments or our REST assured or our APM test into multiple environments. We have different configurations, right? So we might have a different set of URLs, different set of passwords, different set of usernames, right? We want to maintain all of them. Typically, what a, what a normal automation engineer would do, they will keep all the configuration related to dev in a particular configuration file, and they might read it from that, and then they will try to use it. And then for staging, they might have it as separate. And if by default, uh, they will try to run your test in UAT. And this particular environment, we will try to fetch it from uh, maybe even Jenkins, maybe from your Maven system variables or whatever. So we will try to get the in environment uh, as a user input, and we will try to compare with our environments what we have in hand, and we will try to base, uh, you know, read the configuration based on that. So this is how typically a coder would code, right? But this is really error prone. There are plenty of chances that you can make mistakes here, guys. I have only kept very simple example, but you know, in a real time, you might have to manage a lot of uh, variables, a lot of uh, configuration. So this might be uh, really hard to manage, right? So how we can manage this without even writing single line of code? That's what we're going to see today. Uh, without wasting much time, let's get into the IntelliJ. Right. I have already covered what is an owner library. So if you are still using properties class to uh, read from a property file, uh, you should daily think about migrating to owner library. I have already a video on uh, how this works. But if you haven't watched that, I'll also leave that in the description. But for this time being, I'll quickly cover what this do. And uh, we'll get started with what we want to cover for today. Right. And uh, yeah. So now uh, this but. After adding this particular dependency, uh, you have to basically create an interface uh, with a name and you should extend the config. This config is basically coming from the dependency that we have added. Once you do this, this particular library itself will try to map whatever the stuff you have in this property files, it will try to map it to this particular bean, right? So if you notice this particular browser uh, is a is of string type, right? So this is basically coming from here. Right. And then if it has a username, it will try to map this to this particular username. Right. And then the same way URL, it will try to map to this particular URL. So for now, I have kept Chrome dev username and then dev environment URL. Right. Good. I don't have a dev environment URL. Guys. This is just a dummy URL. If you want to check out my website, you can always visit testingminibytes.com. Good. Now I also have a runner class where I am trying to read this uh, uh, particular values. So what you want to do is you just need to tell config factory dot create, and then you need to create a reference variable for this framework config dot class. So once you do this, you basically get uh, the reference here. So the reference will be the framework config and maybe for time being, I can rename this to config, right? So yeah, if you want to get the value of browser, you just need to tell config dot browser, config dot username and config dot URL. So now let's try to run it. This is how a simple owner library will try to map your property files to the interface that we have created. And we could able to read it without even writing all the lines of code, which we normally write. This is the basic about owner library. But what is, how can I handle multiple environments, right? That's what we're going to see today. Let's say uh, I have given the path of the file where I have kept the property files here. Let's say uh, I want to have a different uh, username, right? What we normally do, we go here and then for staging, we'll just change it to, we go here and manually edit it. That's the first thing that we do, right? But we don't want to do this, right? This is, this is not something that we want. So what we can do, uh, is basically we can have a different name here, right? Let's say this is dev, right? So I can keep it as dev.username. So for URL, I can keep it as dev.url. And the same thing for different environments, I can manage different things, right? So this may be a staging.username and this may be staging.url. And here I just change this so that, so if I have different environment, you can just change it, right? So now you can have something like this and then what you can also do is you can create one more variable that's environment okay equal to here you can tell which kind of environment you are looking for suppose you want to use dev it will fetch the values from these two if you want staging it will fetch the values from these two this is how we're going to code right let's go to the framework config and then we'll create 
the environment one so string environment right so it's in beyond that right and yeah so so this environment is basically mapped to this okay so this is environment but how can i you know get the username based on environment right so if you notice here the name is dev dot username right so the the key is dev dot username so if i try to run the code now it will fail okay if it if i try to run the code this runner file now this is null because it will exactly try to match this name username it will try to go into this file and try to search for exactly the key with the username but the key only that is available is dev dot username so what we need, we can do is we have to uh, tell owner library hey not only search for username if you see something that is a key mapping i want to use a different mapping here so i want to use dev dot username okay now you can understand it has to go and search for dev username the same way you can tell i want to search for dev dot url okay now let's try to run it and this is basically fetching the correct values right the same way but what we want to do we, we don't want to give all these things only we want to give this based on that it needs to take these values that's how we want right so basically i can go here and then i can just tell i can remove this i can keep a variable symbol here and then i can just tell environment that's it so what it does is it will try to fetch the value of this particular environment and map it here and now wherever you are want to use environment this is available as a form of variable you can just mention this so if the so this particular values will be replaced by whatever the environment value that is coming here same way i can remove this and then i can just simply say environment okay environment okay so this is how it is so now let's try to run it this will still work suppose i want to change this to staging so let's change this to staging uh, let's try to run again this time it is bringing me staging url and the staging staging uh, username so this is how easily you can change it again you might have one doubt amudan i don't want to pass this environment from here i might want to pass this from sometimes i want to pass it from jenkins because sometime i will run it from there so it will be coming as a system environment variables sometimes i might be running it as a maven command so it might come it as a come as a uh, let's say uh you know system properties in those cases how can i handle this some other so in those cases you can easily handle this with the help of another functionality that you can use so first what i do sometimes it might come as a form of okay let's keep this there and yeah first it might come as a form of system colon properties okay else it might also come in the form of system colon environment right so environment variables at last if it could not find this values anywhere it will try to uh, use this from the configuration properties right and uh, let's try to keep this here yeah so this is how it is let's try to add a load so there is something called as load policy so what it does is by default it has a load type of first which means whatever that it finds first it will use it so if suppose if i try to run it now so we are not passing any system properties now so it will be all null so first what it does is it will go and check for system properties it will try to get the if there is any system properties passed as browser no so it will be marked as null same way it will map for this map for this and everything will be mapped but what we want first we want to check whether it is here if not it has to check here if not it has to check here we want some kind of merging so we want to use these three whenever something is available without null then use this without null then use this if if both of these are null then use this right we want to give something like that then you can change the load type to merge that's it guys so now it will first look for property variables otherwise environment otherwise at last this so now let's try to run it we are not passing any variables here so it will obviously use staging username and staging password which is basically coming from here right again even if you if you are we are not something you are not having this here 
you can also give this as a default value as well so if something is not coming in the environment this is i can give a default value of let's say staging okay i can give something like this right i can also do that apart from this suppose if i pass let's say i while running it i'll modify the run configuration and i will give environment equal to let's say this is dev right i want i'm passing environment as dev so this is an uh, environment variable so now if i try to run it the it is not present but this is present so it will treat the environment that is coming from there as dev so this will become dev this will become dev and this will become dev so let's try to run it so now without writing any single line of code we could able to achieve whatever we want to achieve again guys let's say you want to maintain this into different files let's say i don't want to maintain this here then you can create different files okay it doesn't matter so i already have created this to save some time so if you notice i have dev username here and staging username and url here so all you have to do is if it is something not that is not present here you copy it okay instead of just searching there you can also search in dev hyphen config okay and yeah if you could not find it there you can still find it inside staging hyphen config so what happens is first it will go and check for browser okay if browser is present here it will take it no it is null it will search here no it is null it will go and search for config dot properties yes the browser is present then it will be mapped okay that's it now browser is ready next the deep, uh, environment it will check whether it is present here uh, no it is not present whether it is present here yes it is present then it will map this particular environment that is coming from your environment variables to here right if not if it is not null again it will try to check here otherwise it will try to check here otherwise it will try to check here so it will look into different property files for you you don't have to write any if conditions here right so again the same way it will go and search for username so already the environment is found as dev so it will be trying to search for dev dot username with in here otherwise it will try to search for dev dot username here otherwise it will try to search for dev dot username here and goes on like this so similarly it will try to loop through all these values that you have given and try to find the appropriate values for this so at last we are not writing any piece of code we have written very simple piece of code and then we'll try to achieve what we are achieving previously so this is how someone can write clean code with the help of wonder library i'll see you guys in another great video until then tata bye bye from mamudan bye guys